They're going to come around from the front end of uh, Air Force One.
have marked the standard of service to conciliation, those who serve the needy and for God. May we, each one, use our time and talent. And now be seated and enjoy your lunch and will the bugles and the fife and drop. My congratulations and thanks to everyone who made this film possible. Militarily and economically strong is not enough. The world must see in America that for us values count. They are the will not to be heroes, but to serve. Not to die, but to hate five young, five young Americans and added their name. Those who never lived to know that what they had done was heroic. Part of those who cherish food inevitably brings a threat to that ammunition on hand. And we do none of this because we seek war. Indeed, we hope we medical personnel and military to be doing. One wonderful thing is that today, when you see a young man or woman, your older brother, the father wrote in that article. My children somehow have settled on a place where it is their assumption that this country is right way of life. Maybe you let me illustrate it with a, a story. World War II, I was in the horse camp. The post happened to come direct orders and all the citations. Some years after the war was over, I read where we gave ours to a man who would sacrifice his life simply to bring comfort to a boy who had to die. I think there's, we negotiate for peace, we sacrifice for it, we will never surrender for it. Congratulations, Congratulations. 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 Congratul
good work on Thank you. It's a pleasure to have to see you. Thank you very much. Dr. Yeah. Ben John yeah. Sam, yeah. Yeah. American yeah. Republican yeah. National. Yeah. Nice to see you. Federation. Yeah. Thank you. Mr. President, we should have a good fight. Here we do. Again. Thank you very much. Monsanto who's with the Russian Orthodox Churches in the Middle and Near East. Yeah, we're always giving blessings to people which enjoys our people. And I think maybe you should have a blessing from us. There's a piece of Janian cross from Jerusalem. So it will protect you from the evil for the best of humanity. Thank you very I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Can I hold that for you, Mr. President? Mr. Hoka, the Hungarian freedom fighters. Mr. Hong, who's with the president of the uh, New York Republican Heritage Group. Yes. We're very strong supporters of your administration. And thank you all for the growing country as a weapon against the communists. Thank you. Dr. Yushak, who's president of the Kostyusko yeah. Foundation here in New York. Very cultural, <laughs> which is uh, background represented here. Mr. Murphy with the Irish. Uh, well, well, congratulations. congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Park, Chairman of the Board of the Korean American Wholesalers Association. Yeah. All we, we Korean, you know, especially your wife. Two kids are very fine in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Again. Well, Thank you. you. Mr. Petlick, uh, who's the director now for the trustee. Who's Al Majewski's uh, representative here in the here in Washington? And I am very nice to be here with him. And we have long before I bring it talks to me and I'm just going to give you a helps poem to the message. It's Father Pugavichus, who's the Lithuanian Catholic Society. Thank you very much. This is uh, Mr. Riglietta with the Sons of Italy. Also the Nassau County, I have a further member of the local Republican Club. I'm a good friend of yours. I think they did a fantastic job. We used to see you. And this is our representative of the women's uh, side of the house, Dr. Eric Garczynski. Like yourself, I find myself acting for 22 years teaching at the City University. And I understand very well how you feel. But I would like to encourage you to do what you're doing and fight against the oppression for free countries. And we stand all behind you. My son, who is an airborne ranger who volunteered, he told me, when you speak today to the president, tell him that all our boys are behind him. And we Slavic Americans are all behind you. Fight the communists as much as you can. You. And may I give you a personal appreciation and medal of the Slavic Society, which was done by a sculptor. Andrzej Pitinski, a very well-known and probably one of the most foremost sculptors in the future in the United States. Please keep it as a token of honor. Thank you. I shall very proudly. Thank you very much. Well, thank you all for coming here. And I know it's only a moment that we have because the schedule still goes on back at the Oval Office <laughs> when I get there. And uh, I'm very honored to have all of you here. And I think we all do uh, share one determination that is for a way of life such as we know for all the peoples of the world. And, uh, we'll keep trying, and I am most grateful for this and for it. May God bless you. May God bless you. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Habit of co lately of collecting jokes that are told by the Russian people among themselves that shows something of the cynicism about their government. And if you haven't heard this one, I have to tell you why. I get these checked with various people and find out they really do come from there. This was a commissar who went to a state farm, grabbed one of the workers, and he said, how are things here? Any complaints? And the worker said, oh, sir, I've never heard anyone complain. Well, he said, how are the crops? He said, the crops are wonderful. What about potatoes? He said, if you put the potatoes in one pile, they would reach the foot of God. 
And the commissar said, this is the Soviet Union. There is no God. He says, that's all right. There are no potatoes. <laughs> Yeah, we have plenty of room. Didn't look like they had a flag to it. That's what I was looking for. Because I noticed the war wagon went by and he had to be right in front of it. This is still running though. 